Hello, you guys. What's going on? Welcome. Welcome back. Guess where we are? We're going to be farmers. I'm so excited. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. If you're not, well, hopefully the great part of it starts right now. That's the goal. I don't remember what this map is called, but I think it's like farming simulator or something to that nature. I just know that there are lots of tractors. See, like there. We're going to tend to a farm because we're a farmer. Are you a farmer? You should be. This was not the video that I had planned for today, but the last one got messed up. So here we are now doing this. I'll post that video at a later date because it's just, it's, 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 it, uh, we're, stop. I'm just over the map right now. Honestly, I'm over it, but I will definitely be showing it to you guys later. I've always wanted to farm. It's like farming with none of the work, but all of the fun. Okay, there's a chest here and lots of wheat. I need all the wheat so I can make bread for the grocery store. It's called farm craft. Farm craft, that's what it's called. Okay, great. What's it say? Welcome to Farmcraft. This world will take you through the process of farming crops from start to finish. You will also learn about the amazing machines which make modern farming possible. To start your journey, press the button up ahead. Where? Oh, was that always there? No way! I didn't even see it! No, that was not... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is about to be the most slay farm y'all have ever witnessed okay what's to say press the button to start the game all right let's go oh hello mechanic have you fixed my tractor Welcome to the factory. This is where all the farms equip. Okay, great. Love that. Love that. This is where all the farm equipment is stored and maintained. The tractor is ready for you to use right away. You will need this key to start the engine. After entering the tractor, place the key in its in the inventory to get started. Try driving it to the field outside. Follow the green markings to get there. Okay, did you give me the key? You did. Oh, that's nice. Uh Oh, yes. I'm leaving. We are so gorgeous. We are so incredible. I am a very successful farmer. Can we all see all of my crops? I think I'm doing fantastic. Drive the tractor to the field outside. But this man, oh, this woman, excuse me. Can I have my key back? It won't give me my key. Wait, no, I don't. Stop it. What is that? Hey, all right. Nice job. Looks like you're ready to do some farming. The first step in growing any crop is to prepare the field. This field isn't ready for planting yet. It needs to be tilled first. Tilling is where you turn over and break up the soil. It takes a while to do it by hand. Luckily, there's a disc plow. A disc plow? What is a disc plow? Okay, guide to tilling. Tilling is the preparation of soil for farming. This used to be done by hand using tools such as rakes, shovels, and hoes. Love a hoe. Larger modern farms make use of drawn tillers or disc plows. These machines used to be drawn by horses and other farm animals, but now we have tractors to pull them along. Yes, I do. I got the budget. I got the John Deere. When a tiller is drawn across a field, it stirs up and loosens the top layer of soil so that seeds are ready to be planted. It also helps mix organic matter and nutrients into the soil, destroys weeds, and helps to dry the soil before planting. Love, love. Planting seeds by hand, like in Minecraft, takes a long time. That's why modern farms using planterns, a machine which is usually towed behind tractor, which plants seeds in rows throughout the field. Modern planters can lay seeds at regular depth and spacing, which is crucial for crop growth. This planter here is designed to plant wheat as you drive over the field. Look behind you and you'll see the seeds have been planted all over the soil. <gasps> okay. Okay. So wait, I need to go till. Excuse me. I'm just rowing over or hey, Farmer Dewey. What is this? The disc plow that. Okay. Please set me up. I'm backing in. I'm backing in. Oh, wait, you're supposed to give me it. Did you give me it? No. What kind of ghetto? Please hook up. Do I have to talk to you first? Why is it not hooking up? Looking to use the disc plow? Drive your tractor near the disc plow and right click on the plow to connect it. Then you can drive over the soil and till it. Right click on the disc plow again to disconnect. This method will also work. Wow. This method will also work for the drawn planter. Okay. 
So let me try this again and right click and right click. I'm right clicking. Okay. I'm right clicking. This is a disaster. Okay, let's go. Till the field, we're tilling. Are you till? What? It was connected. First of all, I literally can't. This was supposed to be half the work, twice the fun. What is going on? All right, we're leaving. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, it's connected. I'm backing, I'm backing out, please. Don't disconnect. Okay, great, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. We're tilling. I don't hear tilling going on. <gasps> oh, but it is, but it is, but it is, but it is, but it is. All right, and we're gonna loop-de-do. I hope it can dip three at once. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at me, Allie. Allie. Wow, okay. Well, I tried to show and tell, she did not. Excuse me. I'm coming for you, Allie. Great job with the disc plow. Now the soil is ready. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Excuse me. Let me just put this back in its little place. Oh, yes. Let go. Y'all, I did it. Look, it's all ready to go. It's cute. What did she say? Great job with the disc plow. Now the soil is ready for planting. You can plant the seeds by hand, but for larger areas, you will need a planter, which inserts the seeds into the soil at an even spacing and depth. Connect it to your tractor like you did with the disc plow and drive over the soil to plant the crops. Yeah, okay. So I'm assuming that this one right here is what we need. Planter, it is. Okay, let me get in my trailer. This is not a trailer, it's a tractor, but same difference. Actually, it's not, but can I please... Oh, 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 are you on? I think you are. Okay, let's go. We must plant. Are you planting? <gasps> you are, yes. Okay, wait. Oh, sorry, Allie. Okay. Oh my God, those, this is not giving an even plant. Did you plant evenly? I see lots of mess ups here. I see lots of mess ups. Let me do these by hand since my tractor wants to not, you know, work with me. That's nice. Wait, where's the hose? I need a hoe. Okay, where are the hose? I need a hoe. Can I not even use a hoe right now? Where are the hoes? I wanted to use a hoe for these little spots. I don't want to have to redo it all. Fine. Fine. Let me go do this like little thing over here. Oh my God. Okay, we're connected. We are not connected. Oh, well done. Speak to the farmer for your next task. Which farmer? You all are farmers. Looking good. Once you've planted the crops, you need to keep a close eye on them to make sure that they stay healthy. Luckily, we have machines like drones, which can scan large areas of fields and provide reports on crop health and growth. The drone next to me is set up and ready to go. Just pull the lever to start. Oh, I, I love drones. Where are you? Please go scan the crops. You must go immediately. I think I did a fantastic job. A plus. Some crops have died. They need to be replaced. What? Get off. Get off. <laughs> I stole the tractor and I'm driving on the crops. If you'll excuse me, we're going to have to do a trick shot to get this thing out of here because they got me locked in, gal. I guess they don't own this tractor, but you know what? We're going to. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm leaving. Goodbye. This thing moves real slow, doesn't it? Hey, have we arrived? Let me park. I'm going to parallel park, y'all. Can I please have my key back? I hope nobody steals my car. Gosh, they just want you to parallel and run in real quick. The test lab. Speak to speak to Yada. Is it Yada or Yara? I think Yara is very white of me. I think my white is showing. I can't get in. Yada. How cute. Look at the rack. Excuse me. Yada. Hey. Oh, growing wheat. I've already learned. 
Thank goodness you're here. I'm having a hard time finding the right temperature to help this wheat grow. If you can produce a full yield of wheat by adjusting the temperature conditions, I'd be very grateful. You can use the book in this chest for guidance. Oh, we're manipulating them so that way they grow even though they're not growing naturally. I get you. I got you. That's very slay. Wheat is a wildly adapt crop and is able to grow in very... Oh, in a variety of climates. Oh, disregard what I said before. <laughs> it thrives best in cold environments with its optimal temperature between 12 and 25 degrees Celsius. What is that in Fahrenheit? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, Siri. What is 25 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 25 degrees Celsius is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. That is not cold. Wow. That's very misleading of words. Temperatures below or above this will slow growth and may even kill the crop. Well, let's just not do that. So where's the thermostat? I need to use the thermostat. The crops are gonna pass away, which is wild because Yada's the one that gave me the book and she's, you know, not. Oh, increased temperature, decrease temperature. What's the temperature? Temperature in Celsius, the wheat, 11 degrees. Oh no, not the sugar cane. Wait, sorry gear, sorry gear. What did she say? Is that right? I think that might be oh, not the tilling guide. Uh, it's growing wheat. 12. 12 and 25. Please grow. They're not growing. Excuse me. I must go do the sugar canes now. Gare, how are you, Gare? Everyone knows how to grow wheat. That's easy. Sugar cane, on the other hand, is far more tricky. Can you help me find the right conditions for growing the sugar cane here? There should be some notes in the chest that will help you. Oh, yes. I can do this. I did the wheat, and the wheat is thriving now, thanks to me. Sugar cane is considered a tropical plant, which thrives in hot and sunny areas. The optimum... Temperature for growth is 30 to negative 34 degrees Celsius. Growth slows down below 25 or above 35 and stops entirely above 38. Okay, so what do you have it on? 25? Flop. You need to increase the temperature, please. Please increase this temperature. I'm thinking we're going to do 32. Yes, yes. This is lovely. This is lovely. Look at them grow. Everybody, why are you not growing? Okay, you are still growing. Man, y'all take a minute. Y'all take a minute. You guys are so welcome, and you guys are wearing the lab coats. I'm wearing my cute little sweater. Um, This one won't grow. How are you doing over here? Are they all done? They are. What is wrong with this one? Oh, that's not giving the same color. Oh, congratulations, you've completed lab one. Head to lab two. Where's lab two? I'm still parallel parked and I did not pay the meter. So let's make this fast. Find out which soil is best for your next task. Clay soil, silty soil. What are those? Sandy soil. Okay, so what? what's the plan? Hi there. When you found out which soil is best, we need you to collect some samples from the fields behind the lab building. We'll need enough to fill the empty plots behind me, so make sure you collect enough. Here, take this shovel to help you dig. What do we need the soil for? They never explained what we needed the soil for. Do we just choose our favorite? Collect enough soil to fill the plots. Follow the compass needle. Choose the right soil. It's telling me to go backwards, but like backwards where? How much of this stuff do you think we're going to need? There we go. That's got to be enough. 64, even though some of this was already inside. Oh, yes. They're filled, right? Right. Why fill the empty plots behind me? But it's empty. Hi, Sandy. How are you? But the empty plots are filled. I'm glad you're here. We've been testing all kinds of soils for the perfect one. The six scientists behind you have finished their research and are ready to report on the quality of each soil. Can you speak to them and find out which is best for growing crops? Oh, Lord. Sandy. Sandy soil is hungry soil. It dries out super quickly and in wet weather, nutrients are easily washed out. If you're looking for the perfect soil, then you've hit the jackpot with loomy soil. It drains well, retains moisture, and has great structure of nutrients. So I'm very, I don't know. I do not know. So what, we don't use any of this? Wow, congratulations, you've completed lab two. Head to lab three. I've never ever seen a lab three. Oh. Where is my car? I feel I'm double parked. All right. Here we go, y'all. Test labs. Okay, so this is three. Is it three and four? Three. 
too. Oh, okay. Well, at least we made it here. Hello, Walter. Hi, how are you? Of course, soil and climate are important for crops, but one thing that no plant grows without is water. In this lab, we've been testing how much water is needed to irrigate the soil. We've discovered that soil needs to be four blocks away from water to properly hydrate. With these nine buckets of water, can you find a way to hydrate the whole field? Wait, bucket? What bucket? I didn't get a bucket. I wish you weren't a liar. With these nine buckets of water, where? Where are your nine? Oh, speak to Walter. I already did. Oh, so I guess I flopped and accidentally did it too soon. Let's hydrate this field. Oh, I just threw a bucket of water away. That's unfortunate. How am I going to do this now? There's a lot more spots in here than nine. I thought we just had to fill these nine up. Is this like a little test? A quiz? Oh my God. Okay. I did this side. This side is looking gorge. I think I'm going to move this one to that part and this one over to this very, that corner right there. No, wait, it messed it up. It messed it up. I feel like I'm so close to getting it and yet so far. Oh, oh, we're having movement. We're having movement. Oh, oh, goodbye. I don't want to move that. Am I supposed to remember this, Walter? Okay, and I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, honestly, truly. Three hours later. You guys should all be very well hydrated. There's no reason for Scraggly Anne. Thank you. Y'all, what is going on? You literally have the most water out of everybody in this corner, and you guys are being so stubborn and so rude. Let me take you. Wait. What? Oh. Okay. Two more. What is the issue? Oh, oh, it's just that one. It's just this one now. We were so close. Yes! Congratulations. You completed lap three. Goodbye. I did not enjoy this one. No, I did not. Please get out. Thank you. Head to the ranch. Follow the compass needle. I'm headed back immediately. Where's my tractor? <laughs> I see you're all trained up. Now it's time for you to run a farm on your own. Use the vehicles here to prepare and plant crops of any of the surrounding fields. The chest contains some seeds for you to get started. Good luck. Once you've gathered your first crops, trade them with the villager to get more varieties. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh, we have a vehicle key. Excuse me. I spawn a compact tractor. What? I want one. I already have one. <sighs> Mark. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. All that's left for us to do is to literally sit and plant and farm and do all sorts of different things that we've already did. And trust me, I think that I think this this was fun. This was super, super fun. I don't remember what this map costed, but of course it will be down in the description box below. Of course, though, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a huge thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel channel be sure the post notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload from moi thank you thank you if you guys would like all social medias are listed down in the description box below and they pop up here on the screen but as i said before that is it for this little adventure i hope that y'all again had so much fun with me i can't wait to see you in next week's video it's gonna be so fun so fresh so splendid but until then i've got to go so yeah bye